What's up, ZBrushers? Welcome back to Z Fever. My name is Ricky, and today I'm going to show you a little workflow that I've been uh, playing around with. So I've been working on this guy for, I don't know, a day or so, and I wanted to start, you know, adding some, some armor to him. I uh, wasn't, you know, I'm still not sure about this design flow. I'm probably going to end up changing it, like, three or four more times before I'm actually satisfied with it but um, I wanted to get some hard surface stuff done in here but I didn't want to uh, mess around with you know cubes and spheres trying to force things to move around this guy so um, I had a few options I could either take this mesh over into Maya or uh, soft homage and use a quad draw tool, get all the shapes that I needed in there, do all the extrusions and everything, um, which would have been effective, but um, it would have taken up, you know, some time, right? Or I could use ZBrush to maximize my time and uh, get there much faster. So how will we go about doing that? Well, with uh, 4R7, obviously the big uh, the big game changer in here is the Z model tool. And how do we use the features of ZBrush to be able to maximize that thing? So what we need with the Z modeler brush is some topology to work from, and what we're going to do here in a moment is we're going to get just that. Okay, so enough of me talking about nothing. <clears throat> Let's get to it. So what I'm going to do is grab a Z-sphere. Now this method is how we used to go about uh, doing a hard surface here in ZBrush. We would grab a Z-sphere, start drawing out topology, get an adaptive skin and then continue sculpting and working with the mesh until we had something that uh, reflected whatever our concept was or uh, you know whatever the design flow was that we were thinking about so let's get to it so with this z-sphere this is a different project right I just grab a z-sphere I'm gonna go down to rigging I'm gonna select my mesh and I'm going to pull from this one. And then all I'm going to do is head over to Topology. I'm going to edit Topology. While I'm in here, with the draw mode active, I can start drawing out Topology on here. And so with these general guides here, I'm just going to follow the form. And what's cool about this is, you know, you can you know maybe this entire shape maybe this isn't exactly where I wanted it all to end up but I you know I may want you know this area to be uh, extruded while the rest of it isn't the cool thing is with this tool set is that I have the ability to uh, change my mind on the fly you know I don't have to worry so much about getting it right right off the bat so I'm just gonna go through here get this where I want to be clear that So now I need to start thinking about uh, what I want to do with this. So I need an adaptive skin. So I'm going to set my density under adaptive skin to 1. And then I also want to set some thickness for this guy because I'd like to be able to have something to pull from to add some padding or something like that. So I'm going to set it in the positive so that it comes off of the body. So with that set, I'm going to go preview, and there 
is my very basic topology for this guy. So once I have this, I'm satisfied that this is good enough for government work, right? Um, so I'm going to make an adaptive skin, head back over to my original project. Now I'm going to, I can either append it or I can insert it. If I insert, it's going to insert directly below the active subtool. If I append, it's going to go to the bottom of the list. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert. Then I'm going to go to that tool. Let's go into solo mode. So from here, let's make sure that my Z modeler is active. From here, I can just continue uh, working with this guy until I have what I want. So I'm using just the tools that we all been going crazy about and just start running through here making changes on the fly So you see, I, I left that little area for this padding. And then you can just continue building up, working this around. Um, You know, with this, you know, the sky's pretty much the limit, you know. You can you know, change your mind anytime you want to. Oh, come on, ZBrush. You know, the one thing I got to get used to is moving too quickly over this because... Uh, I will just get myself into trouble. So. And so, without you know too much effort, you know, I've got some. I got a shoulder pad. You know, come over. Just go through, add my creases, and you know, call it a day. You know, nothing crazy, right? So, um, I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, you know, some of you guys might have already uh, figured this out, but you know. Some of you guys might not have. So I wanted to uh, get this out there um, and see what you guys come up with. Um, if you have any ideas, have any any questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up. I'm currently in the middle of uh, Ryan Kingsland's uh, for our 7th certification course. And uh, once I'm done with that or as I go through it, uh, I'll be dropping more uh more information as it becomes available and uh, so if you have anything that uh, you would like for me to cover please bring it up I will be more than happy to address it uh, you know leave a comment leave a like please subscribe and uh, I hope that this was helpful so thanks for watching hope you guys have an awesome day and uh, happy ZBrushing